So I dug inside the menus of the Canon R5C and found some tricks for tracking and autofocus that for me personally, completely changes every way I've been using this camera. There's been a lot of talk about the autofocus system on the Canon R5C, and it's a good autofocus system, but one thing that's been brought up over and over again is that it's so <laughs> different from the Canon R5. And really surprising because you're literally dealing with a modified R5 body and sensor, but because of the Canon Cinema Menu system, the autofocus is completely different in how you approach shooting. Now that being said, what I discovered on the Canon R5C when I first got it was people tracking, face tracking really worked great. I could go do interviews on a 50 1.4 millimeter lens. The tracking, the eye tracking was spot on. I never had to worry about. What I found a lot of frustrations was when I was trying to shoot non-human subjects and specifically getting the camera to track on something that wasn't a face. It was driving me crazy and I found two things, two tips that hold on if you're using the Canon R5, I personally think this is a game changing thing. And the reason why I say this is a game changer in how you treat autofocus on the Canon R5C is because I know a lot of you are coming from cinema cameras and this may be very natural to you. But I think a lot of people using the Canon R5C are coming from 5D Mark IVs, Canon R's, R5, R6's, and those autofocus systems are very, very different. And I think the real key to understand is the tracking in the cinema AF system on Canon is not particularly intuitive. It's not something that you're just gonna instantly see and it's going to make sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the R5C menus and take a look at where the confusion may come from if you're a Canon R5C user and how to fix it. So if I come here and look here, you can see I have my menu. It's in the first, basically, camera settings here. And you can see on the fourth table, I have my first autofocus settings. Yeah, I can do continuous autofocus. I can hit enable, only around focus point or disable. We wanna make sure that's enabled. And then we have our autofocus frame, the frame size and the frame position, which is selectable or center framed. Then we go to the next one, which is face detect and tracking. And it's, I have it to on, I have face priority on. And if you look here, you can do face priority or face only. And then you can do eye detection on or off. Now, what I got really confused the first time I started really diving into the Canon R5C was they have face detect and tracking, but I just wanted tracking sometimes. I was really frustrated doing product photography and I couldn't get it off the face. I just wanted to track an object and not a face. And there's nothing in the menus that I could find. And I found this very, very frustrating. Let's come over here and take a look. I'm gonna come back in my menu. And if you look here, I've got my continuum auto focus, but the key here is your autofocus frame size. Now there's nothing in the menu that tells you that's the key, but believe me, that is the key. So if you look here, I have my autofocus set to small. So if I exit my menu, you will see, you can see right there the autofocus frame. So anything that comes within that box, the camera will focus on. I'll take my hand, I'll pull it away, and you can see it's responsive, it works really well. Now the problem I have is if I want to go, maybe I want to put this off centered and let's say for some reason I come over here and I get uh, Bob's face over there. We can see the eye tracking on. I got Bob there, but let's say I want to touch back on that tripod head. Well, if I come back and touch back on the tripod head, you can see no matter what I do, I can't get it off the eye. If I try and use my dial on the back, it will not let me get off the eye of the subject. It's literally locked on the humans and that can be very, very frustrating. Sometimes that's great, sometimes it's not. And so that's why I wanna show you the first one of the game changers if you're using the Canon R5C. I'm here now and go back into menu and instead of frame small, I'm going to set it to whole area and this is the key. If you set it to whole area, you can get back that kind of touch and drag type sensibility that you saw on the Canon R5. Not exactly the same, but it's very, very similar. And I'll show you right here. So I'm gonna exit now that I've got a whole area. And if you look, if I tap now on my tripod head, I instantly go back. If I wanna come back to Bob, I can come back to Bob. Bob is in focus. If I wanna come back to my tripod head, I can tap on there and you can see once again, it comes back to my tripod head. Gives me really, really nice touch and drag things. This for me was an absolute 
gigantic game changer. I was very frustrated that I couldn't get that kind of tracking. And more important, this is actually true tracking. So if I click here on my tripod again, you can see the box there. And if I move around, you can see that the box tracks with it. Even when I get Bob back there in the background, it stays here on my tripod. It's not being jumping into the human face there, it's staying on the subject that I fixed. This for me was a gigantic game changer. It instantly changed the amount of shots I was getting. Super, super important. The other thing that's great is even if I have something like Bob there, check this out. I can come back and even if I have it on a slider and wanna do a push in, you can see I can push in and it pushes in and stays completely in focus all the way. You can really watch that track stay there. So this intuitive tracking was really, really awesome. You just have to make sure that for your frame area, you set it for whole area. If you don't set it for whole area, you will not be able to get this tracking feature. Now let's say if you have something that you know is your focus point you want, maybe go set it on a small focus point there. But I think a lot of you, especially if you're in handhold work, gimbal work, you're going to lock on something and not have the gimbal trying to find a face all the time. Sometimes, sometimes you do, sometimes you want, you don't. One other side note that I did do, I also programmed one of my other buttons there on the top, button number eight, and I have that button set where I can change it from small focus area back to full focus area so I can quickly jump in between this depending on what I want to do. Now the second thing I discovered was just as important for me and that is this. I love having the touch screen here but I am an EVF shooter. I spend a lot of time shooting on easy rigs, things like that. I like shooting handheld and in that situation I like to use my EVF. Well if I use my EVF you'll see the problem. So if I come to the EVF you can see I'm touching the back of my screen and nothing is happening on my camera. I actually cannot access my EVF when my viewfinder comes on here. And what that means is I can't use that great touch and grab system, which does let you have access to that back screen and touch for the touch and grab function. I found this very, very frustrating, and this is where my second discovery of AF that I found to be a huge game changer for me really came into factor. And let's take a look at that because it all comes down to a customizable button that I don't think most of you are even aware exists. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the top of the camera. If I come here back to menu, I'm gonna come over to my custom buttons. And now if I go to the second menu, you can set this up however you want. I'm gonna show you what I did. On my, I set it as button number nine, but check that out. You can set something called tracking. And this is awesome. If I'm in the viewfinder, I can set it to tracking. Now, if I look here through my viewfinder, you can see, you can see it wants to get on Bob's eyeball. I wanna overpower that because I want my tripod head. I can hit my nine button and look at that. I get these crosshairs and check this out. I can move to whatever I want. I hit set and boom. Now I have a tracking set of a non-human thing. And what I love about this, you can see, I can move it around and it continues to go right on there. And what's great about this is you could see in that situation, the camera actually had an eye focus on a human. I wanted to move to a non-human target and I could do it, boom, with just a quick click of my button. I didn't even have to look away from the camera to do it. it just really, really got on there. This flexibility of autofocus on the Canon R5C completely changed what I can do in a situation for how I shot. I used it all the time and it completely unlocked this camera for me as a actual professional commercial camera because that autofocus feature is really, really important. And I know there's a lot of debate of well, who's got the better autofocus system, the Canon R5 or the Canon R5C. It's a different video, but I would say this. If you set your Canon R5C to these settings, I can speak from personal experience. I can go out and have absolutely been able to get professional, commercial, full page shoots using this autofocus system and come back with fantastic results. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a fix for the Canon R5C. It's an absolute trick that I think a lot of people don't know about the autofocus system there on the top. Anyway guys, I hope that helped you. This was so good for me. I was so excited to make this video and share it for you. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Please leave me any notes and comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, go out there, keep on shooting. And yeah, I'll talk to you soon.